Greetings and welcome on down to the Skunks of Skunville, aka What's Trending. There's an individual that's launching an attack on my credibility and it's not sitting well with me. I have something I need to get off my chest when it comes to this canine character known as Doggy. Plus, Venezuela inching up a wee Esequibo and making a lot of people nervous. While them Spanish holes giving the GT holes competition and taking over all the top spots. And I don't know if you remember the city girls. They had a big dotty falling out. Pip the intro quick and watch Skunty! Hey, something ever surprise you like when you see Chigala, what? Before we start the session, lick your finger and press it on the like button. Then turn on post notifications so you can get updates when we post new videos. Also, this video is supported by Sheriff Security, GT Eats and Powered Automotive Truck and Engine Parts. So, there's heavy military activity on the Venezuelan side of the border at Ethering Bank. A bunch of video clips and voice notes of persons claiming to see this first time have surfaced. At first, the response from the government to the Guyanese people was that Venezuelans are conducting training exercises in the area and that they're monitoring their activities. Then when they realized that Guyanese people ain't buying that lie, they started to be more forthcoming with information on the situation. Recently, the government and opposition met on the issue and have officially aligned their position that Venezuela needs to rake the big butty stinking scunt, which is a sentiment I also share. They said they will be doing more public engagement and PR to sensitize the public on the issue, which is a good first step. Anyways, let me go to this doggy story here now. The guy on Uncut Network spans far and wide. We have people every fucking where. So, when Nagi get report from the USA the other day, we were one of the first entities to be made aware of the situation. Now, Nagi is an associate of ours. So naturally, we reached out to him to find out what is skunk going on and how we make the people them deport tea. The banner ignore me. Now, this was hot news at the time and other people got wind of the information and started posting things up on Facebook and so. And we posted a status asking if they deport the dog. We the guy in arrest the issue right there. This canine character now gonna make a video calling me a liar. I tell y'all already, y'all could embarrass me how much y'all want, but don't attack my credibility. I know for a fact that Bradley Boyd Samson was deported from the USA. And to put my money where my mouth is, I issued a challenge that if Mr. Samson re-enters the USA this year, I will pay him 500 US. Now here is where things get complicated. An individual that has the likeness of Mr. Samson Deparating the streets of New York, making live videos, and calling my name. And you don't know, once you call my name, Weapons drop! That is war! This individual is trying to collect the $500 that I promised to Mr. Bradley Boyd Samson of Lot 52 South Ali Lodge, Georgetown. But he is an imposter. This is not Bradley Samson. This dude is a Barbados national named Justin Adrian Bellas. Who the fuck are you, Justin? Now this case has to go to arbitration in the comment section. Comment section, should I pay Mr. Bellas? I didn't make any deal with Mr. Bellas. I almost fell for the scam. And being a man of my word, I was making arrangements to get Mr. Samson his $500. But this imposter ain't getting that one scunt. Comment section, talk to me. What would Jesus do? And before we continue, spare me a quick minute to let you know that the number one security service in Guyana is Sheriff Security. They're currently seeking to employ more armed and unarmed guards. Apply in person to Sheriff Security on Sheriff Street, Sabrineville, and tell them Mudwater send you for look for walk. And if you're hungry, think of GT Eats. It's an app that lets you order food in Guyana from top restaurants and pay securely online with your debit or credit card. You could download the GT Eats app from the Apple or Android stores. Finally, if you're a truck or heavy duty engine owner and you're looking for reliable and cost efficient spares for your engine, look no further than Powered Automotive. They're the number one heavy duty engine and truck parts store in Guyana. Call them on 697-0171 and ask them for the mud water discount. Moving on, watch this piece of scunt, eh? So this guy needs by here. They sell it on the corner. Opposite like street and the guy said he's selling and he could up his spot the Venezuelan of drinking and shining a bottle on the corner. Now he decided to tell them that they can't shine the rubbish on the corner. You guys not can do the shine rubbish on the corner. We only guys talk. Now she in the red put uh, they coming up close and we put them on in the face and tell them they can they could shop here for the But anyway, this is guy I don't know why these Venezuelans are getting so functions. These Venezuelans are getting sponsors on like These people need to get off the fucking road. 
which part they could come in Guyana. Eh? This one was standing up with the pants there, so draw a cut, go run in the yard, but draw a cut last, but chop up the guy in his vibe. <laughs> These are the girls are sent to me earlier. I went out there, but you don't know, I come out, come out, I come out, the incident start. But listen, I'm fed up with these motherfucking Venezuelans. These people don't know the fucking place. These people get rob a man, fear a man, spray a man in the face. They see police are out of fucking out in Guyana. Eh? Where the police get these bitches out of the road. Everybody come with knife joke on and, and spray them through the face. Look, this is the one the girl with the, with the, with the cutlass in the yard chop up the guy in his wife. The guy had to run and let his stand tonight. All right. Point taken about the Spanish hoes behavior and indeed we need to keep an eye on them but I feel this lady in this video got other reasons she wants these Spanish hoes off the streets I think they're interfering with her business you know her name is Fata and Fata the sell Pata with all these Spanish hoes out of the way Fata Pata will sell better I hear she though but I don't want she think she's slick with her motive about wanting these Spanish hoes off the streets anyways keep this clip in quick what's one thing that black people could do that white people can't Say the N word. Can we get an N word for the, the culture? I can't. I'm not black. You're not black? No, I'm not. Boy, what are you? I'm Guyanese. <laughs> Newsflash, bitch. If you're Guyanese, you're black in the USA, whether you're Afro or Indo. Hey, y'all remember City Girls? They were accused of lashing a man pot off the premise in some pot off and didn't give you nothing. Allegedly. Well, apparently, they had a dirty falling out and a big fight went down. I can't post the full video, but here's a preview. You Hold up.